Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Classic Fixed. We have one player botting out. I have the blue troops. We have an Iceland Blizzard. And we got a little bit of a spawn down here for Australia. So this is a bot, but bots seem to love adding into Australia. If I'm going to go for it, I'm going to have to blast out quite a bit here. And also, red might be coming to contest. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure what this all means. But if this comes this way and comes into Siam, we're going to know what General Huadhua wants to do with his troops. Okay, we do not have any idea what red is doing. I am shocked. <laughs> what the heck? Where are you going, red? I mean, I feel like red is going to come over, but he hasn't done it yet. Orange has discovered... This is General Evangelist, that South America is looking pretty delightful. And against, you know, conventional wisdom, like my four is trapped, my five is trapped. I'm actually in like a horrible position here. And I'm pretty sure Red is going to come in and steal this from me. And I'm just going to get some pretty bad rolls. And I'm going to call that the end of my turn. I'm only defending with a four. This can become a five. We might lose this to Red. I'm not sure. I don't even know what the odds of a 5 on 4 are. They can't be in my favor. Let's see what General Ozon wants to do. They do give me a path up, and they want to go all the way into Europe. Okay, they're signaling to pink. So yellow is a reasonable player. They know how to signal. We already got that in our mind. They know how to signal. Yellow might be an okay player. Let's see how green decides to handle this situation. No, this is a bot as well. So we got two bots, uh, pink and green. General Sugiyama readied up, but then decided not to play the game. Uh, so really, who do we need to worry about? The players, the first four players here in order. Red is most alarming to me, most likely to try to break my Australia. Yellow wants Europe, but pink is adding into it, so that's delightful. Oh no, sorry, pink is a bot. Wait, also delightful, but for a different reason. Pink is a bot. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Some player is really contesting yellow. But, uh, okay. Here it comes. Here comes the scary turn. So if red goes pop and fortifies everybody here, I basically have to turn in and, and smash them with everything that I got. I don't have any other backup plan. Uh, I do have these troops that will be able to follow behind. <laughs> I'll be able to do come around, do a little sneak attack. Here it comes. Okay. So he's bringing the seven over. We're at full-on noob war with red. He got a bad roll, but he manages to get a card, and he brings his seven over. So I get five troops, which could be enough to end this guy. There's no backup plan. I took a continent, and you declared war on me. There's no backup plan. I could add to this three, I suppose, just to make sure that we're using as many troops here as possible. What is an 8 on 7? It really it can't be that good. <laughs> it cannot possibly be that good. Let's get these guys involved. And let's see if we can win this war. That's how we do it! <laughs> Wait, we're going to fight it off. Oh my gosh, my dice are insane. Well, I'm incredible. <laughs> okay. Surely this will get the message in Red's head that this is for me. There is absolutely no way he's going to continue this fight. We win Australia. That's the way you do it. I still got 20 troops. <laughs> and there's only a couple other humans. Blast that four. Get rid of them. So yellow is going for Europe. Europe is obviously very good. Orange is going to go for South America, which, yeah, you know. Green is a bot. So we need to remember this. It's, it's hard because it doesn't have the little bot signal. But now that we've basically won the war and there's absolutely no reason for this guy to attempt a five on five, he should try to, you know, go for North America and he'll probably just leave me alone and definitely not continue to fight for Australia because that would just be ridiculous. You lost the war. It's not a big deal. You know, you thought you had a good chance at winning Australia, but you lost the war. Just start a new life in North America. Maybe we're chill. Maybe everything's fine. Has Red bought it out yet? No. All right. <laughs> Let's keep the fight going, buddy. Down to nine troops. I can't really kill red. I do need to, like, get out of orange's way at some point. If orange hits me here, then I won't have access to this. 
Five on five? Give up, bro! I won the war! <laughs> Stop! I won the war! Stop! You lost! It's fine, you lost! Green is a bot, right? Maybe orange will break? Orange will probably take South America now. Which includes hitting my four, but letting red live. So I'm down to ten troops. Alright, this war was more painful than I realized. But I won! I won the war! This is a bot. I'm just gonna get surrounded by green, but I actually, I don't hate that. Let me just have one turn where I just, I really, really, really chill. Get my wild card. Oh my gosh, wait, we're super in this game. No! <laughs> wild card four trade. All right, yellow just gets a card. That was scary. I thought yellow was coming to attack me. Now, do I turn in? If yellow is open to me, I might have to turn in. Otherwise, yellow can turn in and kill me. I think I have to take this trade, even though it's ridiculous. I'm only on 14 troops. Because I this stupid war with red. And red might still be fighting for Australia. But he didn't get a card. Have we got red to bot out yet? Gosh, he's still here. Okay. I, there might be enough tension between the rest of these players. Yellow will very quickly here get Europe. Orange already has a continent. Who's the other player? For some reason, I'm just I'm having a difficult time. It's red. It's red. That's why. Let's see how red plays this. Go for South America. Keep it fair. Okay. So red is going to recharge. Oh, he's not coming up this way. I figured he would come this way and eventually try to make his way into Asia and then just continue to fight me. Hope to get like a trade in, start start curling up here. But he's just gonna do some random stuff. <sighs> but we did it. <laughs> it's not always easy. I knew red might have been the one to, to come for me. But I don't think it was a, a good plan for red to come and get me. So you gotta let your opponents make some bad moves if they wanna do them. Is orange coming out? What is orange doing? Orange punches red. I wish red had a turn in, because they actually probably would go into orange, right? And they'd go for South America. I do not have... I can risk it. If yellow has a turn in... No, I'm still going to have so many troops. Okay, I, I think I can, I can definitely hold out for a better trade here. I'm better than I, I think I am. I do have Australia, which is pumping my, my troop count up here. And we've done it. We've got a big trade, so we're going to be fine... Yellow shouldn't be able to kill us for our cards, and nobody else is really in position. Can orange kill me? It would be such an insane kill. Even if he got 10 plus 2 here, <laughs> it would be such an insane kill. I should be fine. Nothing to fear. We've got Australia. Yellow is definitely setting up to be able to kill me. So it's a good thing that we do have our turn in. Ooh. Ah, oh, no! I really want to be able to kill red. Just, it's personal. I want to kill red because it's personal. And I'm wondering who, if this green bot really seems to have it out for orange. So orange is going to make like a huge blunder here at some moment. Red is going to die. Wait, this is actually huge. Red takes a third card. Can orange get there? Orange can get this kill. Shoot, and getting that kill means they're running a lot through me. Red breaks the bot, which probably doesn't matter. He's trying to live down on a little island. You got to finish in Madagascar. Don't you want to live down in a little island? This is probably very helpful for Orange, because now the bot will come this way. But it's, it's a good chance for Red to try to survive. I will obviously try to eliminate Red, given a chance. Orange is not going to go for it. If Orange had a trade-in, they could add a bunch here. They must not have had a trade-in. Or even a bunch here and run really, really, really far to get these cards. Looks like I will hopefully win this war. I even get to add into India, which is pretty amazing. No, wait. If I take these cards... It's worth it. It's worth it. Yellow, Yellow's not going to kill me after this. Because I'm just going to get good dice, please. Can I get some good dice? It's personal. These things. It's it's my kill, okay? <laughs> it's just, it is for me. It is for me! 
Get owned, Red. It was a nice try. It was, it was, it was great doing battle with you today, sir. All right, now I'm going to get out of the way. I don't think Yellow will be able to kill me, but they can definitely try. So I have, I finished with five cards. This is why I almost didn't make this kill, because Yellow could go for a crazy kill. It would require a split down here. Okay, they take safely. Green is a bot, so if Green is a, a breaker bot, you might lose your continents, but that's just what it is. Let's see how green does it. I think the bot will just take back Africa. Mm, knocks pink out of there. Pink bot is very weak as well, but that's probably a kill somebody else gets. Does go up into Europe. Okay, so yellow does stay weak. Orange is about to go popping off. Let's make an alliance with yellow because orange is about to pop off. No, oh, okay, so I thought maybe Orange would be able to get this kill on Pink for like an insane amount of cards and take North America and just be huge. So in that case, I would like to be able to work with Yellow to fight Monster Orange. Yellow has not yet accepted my alliance. I don't suppose that I can get the kill on Pink Bot in a couple turns. If I have a huge stack here, I'd have to run through a lot of green. Let's see how Orange plays this. They don't have a particularly easy card. They maybe have to hit this too. They should try to kill Pinkbot, if not on this turn, the next turn. Okay, so I, I make it with five cards. So I'm actually doing very well. Eastern Australia sounds fine to me. So I think the next plan is to set up to try to eliminate... Pinkbot, potentially. Let me get these out of Africa just so that I have a everything in one stack. So this stack can go into North America. It can go into Europe as well. Yellow is going to cautiously retake, which I think is fine. Or maybe they are going to go for Africa. Or maybe they're setting up to go into orange. I'm not sure what yellow is lining up for. Could be to attack me. I do have Australia, which... You know, some some people are willing to fight to the death for, as we've already kind of seen. But I'm I'm quite in this game. I got 43 troops. It would be nice to eliminate Green Bot. I have a trade in that I probably will take, just because I don't know if Yellow is actually lining up to get me or something. I don't think it's worth it for me to go in there and try to kill this bot. But Orange is going to to take. The kill on pink, they should really do it now. They get a turn in. And then they're going to take North America. And then they're going to just be huge. They have a two-point guard from Alaska and Brazil. This looks like they're setting up for the kill. They take out green, which they don't take the kill. They're guarding it. They're going to wait for more. But what if the bot turns in? Okay, I'm going to take... Um, I think I'm going to keep like a, a big stack here because if orange doesn't take the kill next turn, I should, I should go take it maybe. Um, a tough turn. I'm not exactly sure where I should get my card. I want to make sure my stack is open in both directions. Let me get my card here which I do understand green bot might eliminate that three. It would be sad. But this, this three might decide to come this way. Could If this adds, if this becomes like a six or something, or green has to turn in. But let's see how yellow plays this. So I'm glad I turned in, because yellow's turning in. They're going into orange. Yes, okay. Woo! They see the potential for orange to get huge here. And they go directly into orange. This probably ends the game. Well, this definitely... Ends the game. Now I can kill everybody. I can run the board. I have to be able to. 58 troops. I have more than... Do I have more than the whole world? No. Oh my god, green, you're in my way. I have to go through green bots. Get out of the way. Move the 16. Get out of the way. My stack's not in the right spot. I do lose that three, which I kind of saw coming. We'll see if pink bot turns in. Okay, so I am open this way now, which is very bad for yellow. 
But yellow and orange aren't the only two humans here. Orange is the the better kill. Pink turns in. If pink hits this eight and it's aimed at it, orange is only going to have this, but they have four cards and an enemy in yellow. I mean, we're going to win this game. There goes the eight. Oh! <laughs> I think yellow there just saw that orange had the latent potential to get huge. And that's why they decided to do it there. But it does end yellow's game as well. And green does count for FFA points. But all we need to do is sweep up these two. He doesn't have cards. Ah, oh, poor guy. Poor guy. I could almost be sporting and take green out first. You know what? Let's be, let's be sporting. <laughs> I'll make sure that we eliminate green on the way. But we will take out orange in the process. And try to take out the bot just so that yellow gets higher placement. I don't know how much they actually care about it or not. <laughs> um, but we'll give, we'll give yellow the better placement if it's possible. So there we go. And pink here is a bot that started as a bot, so they don't really count for anything. And this is how we're just going to simply run the board, give second to yellow, good game, well played, and then sweep up the board. That's all you gotta do in the game of Risk. This is why Australia is so powerful. <laughs> take Australia, do whatever you take, fight another player, end up on 10 troops, whatever you got to do. Just make sure you win Australia, and from then, all of your opponents will descend into madness. And because everybody else, there was only like four humans, so when somebody is threatening to get really big, it might alarm another player. They went into the other guy, and that is how the game ended. So I'm happy with that. Glad we got to have another amazing Australia battle, and we just beat a beginner who was fighting me, an expert, an expert, and a novice. So I hope that you guys did like that. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next video.